Right now, let's welcome him back after his weekend of relaxation, Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. Yes, good morning. Wasn't the greatest weekend, as we all know, but... Hey, you know, uh, we got the fireworks off yesterday at Lime Rock. And, you know, the afternoon of both days actually turned out okay, where we did get, you know, rain and it was cool. Uh, but, hey, you know what? We made it through it. We made it through it, Fourth of July, uh, and uh, happy birthday, America. You know? Yep, it certainly wasn't one of the nicer uh, Fourth of July weekends, weather-wise. No, no, no. no but... No. But nevertheless, like you said, we got through it. And, you know, now we're in a hazy, hot, humid weather pattern. And there'll be gusty thunderstorms possible toward evening today. Uh, lower 90s. After that uh, thunderstorm threat passes early tonight, it'll become clear down to 70. Partly sunny, humid Wednesday, low 90s. Again, a chance of thunderstorms toward evening. Thursday, cloudy and humid with showers and thunderstorms 70. As a front tries to drop down from the north. And the remains of Elsa pass out through Maryland and Delaware. Then on Friday, that front will be coming down with showers and a thunderstorm, 80. The front's only going to get down to maybe um, Atlantic City on Saturday. So I don't know if we're going to see any showers or thunderstorms, especially for the early part of Saturday. Um, and we'll be in the 80s. But then the front will try to come back north as a warm front on Sunday when there'll be a chance of showers and thunderstorms again. So a highly, highly unsettled week for the first full week of July. All right, and uh, and uh, over, you know, uh, over the weekend, Pat, uh, I, I watched the Tomorrow War. I did too. Um, I would have to say um, before you you uh, you chime in here on a one of five basis, with a five being you know the best, I would give it a three. Yeah, I would give it. I, 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 I would give it. I talked about it uh, uh, yesterday. I, w I would give it a four, but because I watched it uh, for lots of well, monsters, animals. Uh, I watched it because I like uh, Pratt, and I liked it because there's lots of booms and explosions and then special effects like that. And I knew I wasn't watching an Academy Award winner, so yeah, I think three to four out of five is is is. It was. I had a good time watching it, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, yeah, I did too. It held yeah, my interest. Yeah, 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 and uh, and I thought all the characters were good, and I thought the storyline was pretty cool about his about his daughter and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it was fun to watch. That's all I can say. It was fun to watch. Um, the uh, the aliens uh, weren't too nasty to see. They, I mean, there was some gory scenes. They were nasty in, enough. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, they even got they even managed to get Russia in the plot, so we'll leave I'll leave it at that. Yeah, but could you imagine a thing like that coming at you? Oh my goodness! Well, no, I couldn't uh, because uh, uh, I know I couldn't. I, I, I whoever thinks these things up, I will often wonder how they sleep at night. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Right to come up with uh, you know to come up with how they look and the whole bit. I totally agree. Um, I have to tell you that I finished uh, the series uh, Mayor of Easttown and thumbs up to that. Uh, I It's kind of dark, folks, but it is really, it, it, it holds you. It just, it holds you to the very, very end. And um, I like that. And then my sister said to me, and this was last evening, she said to me, did you watch Unhinged yet? I said, no. She said, it's a movie. It's not a series. Watch it. She said, it is a thriller. It is excellent. It's got Russell Crowe. That's all I had to hear of Russell Crowe. Huh. I am not a fan of Russell Crowe. Huh. And after this movie? You're still not a fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm totally not a fan of, because of the character he played. Uh, it is a thriller. Now, there's a couple of things that, that I thought were stupid, absolutely stupid in the movie. I'm not going to let out. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who's going to watch it, but you watch it and you tell me what you think. Um, but they're just things that you say to yourself, well, why isn't the person doing this? Why isn't this happening? You know, it, it's almost like logical for the, for the viewer to look at this and say, you know, this should be happening. That should be happening. But uh, it didn't. But nevertheless, it had me on the edge of my seat. And I definitely think... Um, and it's worth watching. It's called Unhinged with Russell Crowe, and it's on Amazon Prime. 
All right. Now, I took your advice, and I, I watched Cruella. Wasn't that great? It was fun. It was a fun movie to watch. It was fun, watch. right? In the beginning, I wasn't quite sure, but the way it developed and the other, and the way the characters developed and the way, the way she developed and 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 – yeah, it was fun to watch. It was it was fun to watch. It's not a, it's not a chick flick. It's it's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, Disney did a good job, right? Yeah. They, yeah. I think they did a good job. Yep. I I um I you know thumbs up for that too. So yeah, we're busy watching movies, and I'm um I'm watching the movie this morning right now as we speak. It's called the In Motion Satellite Picture of Tropical Storm Elsa. Now, where is Tropical Storm Elsa located? Over the Keys and moving into the Gulf of Mexico, 60 mile per hour winds will parallel the west coast of Florida and then turn north northeastward in toward the Big Bend area, north of Tampa, and then move up through the Carolinas, out through Maryland and Delaware, as I told you, will throw moisture our way on uh, later Thursday into Friday. Well, the, when it gets out into the Gulf, are the, are the winds going to increase anymore? There's a possibility, it's going to be close to land, but there's a possibility it could become a minimal hurricane before making landfall over the Big Bend area of Florida. And then once it gets off the Maryland coast, which would be Friday morning, uh, it could become a tropical storm again because it'll weaken over the Carolinas to a depression. And then once it gets off the coast, it become a tropical storm again, and it's going to get very close to Cape Cod. So if you're on the Cape... You'll get some wind, and you'll get rain. That'll be on Friday. Oh, yeah, and, of course, right. I do have um, my friends Vinny and Joanne who are going to be there. And, um, you know, I'm sure they'll they'll know all about it because that'll be big news on the Cape. Well, I have, I have a friend who just moved there, uh, our, our old-time radio buddy. Uh, and uh, he just moved back to the Cape uh, about uh, – well, actually, he just got his apartment about a week ago and – and uh, he loves that on the Cape. He's been looking to go back there for a long, long time. And so uh, he is back on the Cape, and he's just posting a million videos and pictures. <laughs> okay. uh, where is he on the Cape? I have no idea. I just, uh, I just know that he's, know he's, 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 he's on the Cape. I, I have no idea uh, okay. where he is. But uh, he's been through some, some tough struggles uh, recently, and uh, he's come through them okay. And he decided uh, this was a time to get back to a change in his life. And so he went back to uh, where he spent a good part of his broadcasting career. So. Good for him. Yeah, so, uh, so, good for him. Yeah, and so... Uh, I get to see lots of pictures of his apartment and stuff like that. He found an apartment right away for like $2,000 a month. Wow. Uh, uh, well, you know, on the Cape, I don't think that's that bad, to be not honest probably with you. for the Cape, it's not that bad, you're right. You know, he's got, the, it's a nice condominium, they got a pool together. So I, I don't think it's that bad, actually. I mean, if people try to go to the Cape in the summertime, <laughs> they pay 2000 a week. Yeah, I was going to say. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, so, uh, yeah, so with my... So he, so he, now I know that I'll get definite videos from him uh, on uh, on the tropical storm when it hits up there. Yeah, that, that you probably will. So that'll be good. Uh, yeah, pass them over to me because I would uh, be very interested to see that. All right, and uh, and and your weekend went a okay then. It was. Uh, I never got to the lake, um, so I was not at the lake. So it was just okay. Um, friends of mine, the ones in uh, one town over. Uh, they had a barbecue on um, Sunday, and uh, so I went there for a little while, and that was pretty much it. Um, I didn't do much uh, of too much else, really, um, which in a way is good, because, you know, if I would have gone to the lake, um, you know I would have been working. There's yeah. a lot of things to do between my cabin and the studio, so I would have been down there. So it's just as well, and uh, I just was doubtful about the weather. I didn't know um, if it would really rain there Sunday afternoon for a couple of hours, uh, as it as I'm told it didn't. Uh, I didn't know if it would rain Saturday night, wash out their fireworks. It did not, and uh, and then I would be coming back um, on Monday anyhow. So I just wound up staying home. So I have not been at the lake now in uh, three weeks. Well, what about for the fourth? I I made. Uh... I made myself some uh, uh, some tamales, some uh, uh, black bean rice and cheese tamales, and then I made uh, some homemade uh, uh, 
tacos, uh, the the masa and everything that just were vegetarian that had uh, lettuce, onion, tomato, uh, avocado, and a little bit of uh, a sriracha sauce, and uh, that that was my Fourth of July uh, uh, picnic over the weekend. I'm I'm more and more drawn to to, to Mexican food. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but uh, it's just easier for me to eat. I don't know. And sriracha, I never thought I'd like sriracha sauce. Never. I don't think I've ever had it. It's it's hot. It's like a, you know, like Tony's hot sauce you ever see in the, in the bottles? It's a hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, I don't like hot stuff. Yeah, but uh, but this is good. You just put a couple of little drabs in there, and it gives it that little kick. So anyway. but uh, So that's what I did over the 4th of July. And uh, uh, I go in for... Um, I go in for my first uh, treatment on my knee on the 16th, which is Friday the 16th. Uh, then I go in for the for the major transfer of the stem cells on Monday the 19th, and then on uh, Wednesday of that week I go back in and they I will transfer more platelets, and then Friday of that week I'll go back in and we'll see how everything went. So uh, the, the, be prepared because the week uh, of the 19th. Uh, I might not be in, okay? I'm warning you in advance. Well, uh, I will be here. Were, you're going to be on vacation? I'll be on vacation. Well, there you go. I will be coming back. I will be coming back to the Weather Center on, I know you're going to say why, but I will be coming back on Friday the 23rd. All right. Well, you might speak to me Friday, but I doubt it. But uh, on the twenty third. But just I'm going to start warning everybody in advance. It's 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 just that the, the procedure. It's an every other day thing that they do uh, for the for the one knee. And so, uh, really, uh, we'll see what happens. I well, hope. if you're not there, what happens? Uh, well, we've got we've got people that can fill in, and we can do some some limited programming. That's all. Okay, uh, what do we do uh, as you can far still, as our... Still feed the forecast, still feed the still forecast. Feed or, and the MP3s. And the MP3s, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Good. There okay. just won't be a live conversation on it in the morning. Gotcha, okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, we've got all that settled out, and we'll see what happens if we uh, with the big boomers today. Oh, yeah, uh, again, very late this afternoon toward evening. All right, Pat, we'll check with you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye, Marshall. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.